Hey everybody and welcome to your tutorial for how to make a hooded cowl. In the kit that I have given you, you have some pre-cut pieces of fabric. You have a long skinny rectangle and then a big almost a square it's actually a rectangle we're going to start with that big rectangle and we are going to fold that in half just like that make sure that your edges are lined up nice and neat and that your fabric is nice and smooth you want all of your edges to be aligned and touching then you're going to find that big weird semicircle piece of uh, paper in your kit and you're going to line up the straight edges of that semicircle on the fold of your fabric so the straight edges should not be touching the open side of your hamburger or hot dog or whatever it is Make sure that your straight edges are lined up on the fold and then grab yourself a pencil or a marker or I'm using chalk in this instance and you're going to trace your pattern piece onto your fabric just like this. Once your pattern piece is traced onto your fabric, grab your fabric shears and cut out your pattern making sure not to cut along the fold only on the rounded edges that you traced if you have done this properly you're going to be left with this weird semicircle piece one long side and one short side of straight edges you're going to insert your fabric shears between the pieces of fabric and you're going to cut open the short side if you have done this right, when you open this up, you are going to have a large circle with a small circle in the middle and a short straight line cut directly down from that short circle. Then grab that long skinny rectangle and fold it in half to make a short rectangle. Line up and smooth out your pieces and grab the other weird shape in your pattern kit smooth that out and make sure none of the edges of the paper are touching the edges of the fabric then grab your marker or your pencil or your chalk and outline your pattern piece cut out all of the edges of this pattern piece using a pair of fabric shears if you have done this properly you should be left with two separate pieces of material that look like a quarter of a circle. I don't know. They're very strange. You are then going to grab your chalk or your marker or your pencil and our trusty dusty seam gauge set at half an inch. And we're going to mark a half inch seam allowance around that big curved part of this piece of material this is going to make the hood of your hooded cowl so what we're tracing out is the back of the head right here don't worry about any other marks except for the back of the hood then grab your needle I am going to use my sewing machine because I have one and because I'm making uh, four projects this weekend and grab some thread that is as close to the same color as your fabric as you can if it's not perfect it's okay but try to get as close as possible to a color match for your fabric then you're going to use a running stitch to connect the two pieces that we just cut out along that half inch seam allowance that you just marked and if you have done this properly you should be able to open up your hood and put it on your head so that way you've got a neck part touching your shoulders and then a face part that goes around your face and it should look like a hood like on your hoodie that you might wear now we are going to uh, reset our fabric with the ugly side out, with the stitching side showing. Find the face part. If you need to put that back on your head to find where the face part is, do so. Uh, but we're going to lay that out with the ugly side up. And you're going to use a half inch seam allowance to create a hem around the face of your hood. 
So we're putting the mark on the ugly side. It's on the same side of the fabric that we were stitching on before. Your raw edges from your original seam should be visible up in the air. Mark that half inch seam allowance all around your hood. If you put this on with the ugly hem showing, you should be able to see your mark. So you should see the mark around your face with the ugly hem over your head that we made earlier. And now we're going to use our iron set to an appropriate heat setting for the kind of fabric that you are working with. We're going to fold down and press that hem into place. Because it is sometimes difficult to see your uh, seam gauge line while you are folding it over, sometimes I will use my seam gauge as a tool to help fold that over. When you get to the first seam that you made, open that up and press it down so that way you don't end up with any weird bumps right over your forehead. Uh, and then just keep folding down and pressing down your seam allowance all the way around the face of your hood. If you have done this right, you should be able to put your hood on ugly side out and see all of your raw edges. Your original raw hem over the top of your head should be visible on the same side as the raw edges that you just pressed down around your face. And you are going to use a running stitch to hold down that hem that we just made around the face of your hood. You want to check this, you can turn this right sides out and put it on. You should not be able to see any raw edges around your face or over your head if you've done this properly. Now we're going to move on to the cape of this little cowl. The first thing we're going to do is lay this fabric out and find the short cut that we made over the chest. We're going to mark a half inch seam allowance, fold that down and press it into place. If your fabric has an ugly side, you want to make sure that you put the marks on the ugly side. If it doesn't, you are now choosing which side is going to be the ugly side. The ugly side will show all of the raw edges. So fold down on the ugly side and use a running stitch to hold your seams in place. Then we're going to lay our fabric back out now that we have established an ugly side ugly side up, we are going to mark a half inch seam allowance around the neck hole of the cape. Put these marks on the ugly side of the fabric. We're not going to do anything with this mark just yet, but this is going to come in handy later. Once you have done that, flip the fabric over so that the pretty side is up. Pick it up and fold it in half so that you cannot see the ugly side. So we are working on the pretty side. We are going to line up all of our edges, our neck hole edge, our ugly chest edges, uh, the raw edges around the bottom of the cape. Fold everything in half and press your uh, smooth your fabric out nice and neat. We're not going to press it down here, but we're going to find the center back. If you've lined everything up properly, this is not the open side of your fabric. This is the solid side of the neck where the fold is. And you're going to put a mark, and this is the center back of your cape. Once you have marked the center back of your cape, open your cape back up, lay it out pretty side up. So your raw edges from that seam we made earlier should not be visible, but that mark that you made at center back should be visible. Now we're going to take the hood and we're going to touch the pretty side of the hood to that mark we just made at center back. Your raw neck edges of your hood are going to touch the raw neck edges of your cape lining up that center back. What I'm doing here is I am opening up the seam on the back of the head for the hood that we made earlier, and I'm just pressing that down. Then I'm going to take a safety pin so that I can hold the center back of the hood to the center back of the cape, and it's not going to move around on me while I am trying to work. 
Then I'm going to take my raw neck edges of hood and cape and I'm going to use safety pins to smooth them out and hold them together. This is really difficult to see on camera from this angle. So it's at this point that you can say, Miss Street, I have my center back of my hood attached to the center back of my cape and I need you to show me up close how to make sure I've got the neck lined up before I sew it down. I know this is really tough to see on camera so you can ask me to show you how to do this in person and I'm not going to be grumpy about it. Once you have lined up your raw neck edges of your hood and the raw neck edges of your cape, then you can be you can check and make sure that you're going to have pretty sides on the same side and ugly sides on the same side pretty easily. Once you're sure that is the case, find that mark that we made around the neck of the cape earlier and you're going to use a running stitch to attach the hood to the cape. So find that half inch mark that we made on the neck earlier of the cape and use a running stitch to permanently attach the hood to the cape. And it is time for a little quick fit check. If you have done this right, put your hood and cape on, overlap your chest piece, and check to make sure that your pretty side of your hood and your pretty side of your cape are both showing and where you have attached the hood to the cape does not show any raw edges. So a little fit check, making sure only the pretty sides are visible and all of the raw sides are against your body. Once you're sure that is the case, the last thing that you are going to do is fold over any of the raw edges with a half inch seam allowance, press them down, and use a running stitch to sew them into place. So you should have two little weird raw edges on the top of the chest that you can fold down and press and running stitch into place. And then you're going to have the big outer edge of your cape that you're going to use that half inch seam allowance to mark on the ugly side, press down and sew into place. Make sure that you are doing this on the ugly side of the fabric and use a running stitch to hold that into place. One final fit check. Once you get your hood and cape on, all of the ugly raw seams should be against your body and only pretty sides should be visible to anybody looking at you wearing your hooded cape. And if you've done that right, that's pretty much what it should look like.